Hi, my name is Luke Ritchie, and today we're going to be solving for a slope when given the graph. So at the top of the screen, you'll notice that we have our equation 6x plus 3y equals 9. Now, if we wanted to find the slope, you know, just by looking at the equation, it would be a lot more difficult because you got to reorganize and set it into y equals mx plus b. But when you're given the graph, it, you can save a lot of time by just looking at it. So here, an important key to remember when you're trying to find the slope on a graph is you want to do, you want to use whole number points. Like you don't want to go from here to say right here because that, those aren't whole number points and it's just going to make it a lot harder for you to calculate your slope. So you want to look where it crosses, where the graph, where the line crosses the graph at a whole number point. So here, our line crosses the graph at the point one, one, and then you go here and our graph crosses the uh, point zero three. So starting from the point here, you're going up one, two, so you're rising two, and then you're r going run negative one. And if you remember, slope equals rise over run. So your slope equals two over negative one. And when you simplify that, you're going to get m equals negative two. So our problem here, we're given two points, negative one, negative two. And then, ugh, let me rewrite that. There we go. And then our second point, which is 0, negative 5. Okay. So once again, let's remember to label our x1s and x2s and so on. So x1, y1, x2, y2. And then from there, we're going to be plugging this in to our formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's plug that in. So m equals negative 5 minus negative 2 over uh, 0 minus negative 1. So notice how I got my y2 here, and I plugged it in here. And then my y1 was from here, plugged it in up here. And then x2 right here, x1 right here, and I plugged it in here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and do our calculations. So for this, what really makes it tricky is you got our negatives. So negative 5 minus a negative 2 means that these two negatives cancel out in a way. So essentially, when you have negative 5 minus a negative, it's like a plus. So instead, think of it as negative 5 plus 2. So negative 5 plus 2 will give us negative 3 on the top. And then the same thing goes here on the bottom. 0 minus a negative 1 is equal to 0 plus 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1, and then our slope is negative 3 over 1, and we can simplify that to get m equals negative 3. 